Good evening, folks. This is the sexiest man alive, Eli. Now, we had a blizzard last Thursday, as you know. And it has done some damage to us. For example, oh, okay, we got people over there trying to shovel that, that snow out. All right, well, today's January 29th, 2011. Time now, about 8.50 p.m. Now, if you look close to the light, you're gonna notice a couple of flakes passing by. Yes, it's snowing again. However, this snow is different. This is the sixth time it has snowed since the winter of 10 to 11 started. The storm we had last Thursday, that was the second blizzard. This is not a blizzard this time. It's just, as the meteorologists would say, these are flurries. Now, the difference with this snow is this. Right now it's 34 degrees Fahrenheit, one degree Celsius. This snow here is called wet snow. Reason being is because if you look at the ground, no snow is on it. Well, the snow over there, that's from last Thursday, but over here I'm focusing on. There's no snow. And that's because the ground is above freezing. Now, why is the ground above freezing? It has been warm the past couple of days. We've been flirting with the 40s since um, Thursday. So that basically explains how the snow is not sticking. Now, for some of the cars, I'm guessing the metal part, that's stuck on because metal is a conductor of temperature. Well, much better than the sidewalk, so I'm guessing that's how the snow stuck on there. The blizzard that we had last Thursday, that is called dry snow because I'm going to take the time machine back to Sunday. Now, those of you in New York or in the Northeast, you notice that we got gripped with cold temperatures on Sunday and Monday. 10 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 30, negative 40. So since the ground was below freezing at that time, that's how the snow stuck on Thursday. But see, we're above freezing, so that's how it's wet snow. Now, what can happen sometimes is the snow will stick later on if the ground gets cooled enough to below freezing. So basically, that's how wet snow is usually formed. Same thing with the dry snow. Sometimes gravity has something to do with it, since wet snow is compacted in the air more often than the dry snow. So basically, that's how the wet snow is formed, and that's like the difference between wet and dry snow. Well, I'm a science guy, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Alright then. Oh yeah, and for those of you who think that me talking about snow is boring or whatnot, do yourself a favor, my friend. Just cut off the video, because... I got enough problems to worry about without you guys writing your hateful comments. Other than that, yeah, I hear that we're gonna have more snowstorms to come. And yeah, so I just thought I'd shoot a video on how wet snow is different from dry snow. Not all snow is the same, remember that. Sexiest men alive, over and out.